Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, December 20th, 2011. I'm Russ Barton with your Erneberry Market Report, sponsored today by NAMP's new line of English Spanish meat cut posters, now larger and fully laminated. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting the poultry processor Sanderson, Sanderson Farms Incorporated, hurt by weaker poultry markets and significantly higher feed grain costs, reported a loss for the fourth quarter compared to a profit for the same time last year. You can get more on the story and other news from the center of the plate at foodmarket.com. Now let's check out the markets. For this week's USDA National Shell Egg Inventory Report, here is Terrence Wells. Yesterday's National Shell Egg Inventory was reported by the USDA to be 919.1 thousand cases, down 11% from last week's figure and down 6.3% from the same week last year. Breaking inventory has also declined 4.9% this week, totaling 238.8 thousand cases. The total shell egg inventory is 1,157.9 thousand cases, representing a 9.8% decrease from the past week's total. Inventories continue to tighten as retail buyers place steady orders for expected holiday demand. Most began their buying position earlier than anticipated, however, with prices on the rise since the beginning of the month. As a result, producers now only have enough supply to fill the orders of their customers and those who are short. Bid substantial premiums on the spot market. This is Terrence Wells with your National Shell Egg Inventory Report. Back to you, Russ. Thank you, Terrence. Looking at poultry, the marketplace is holding up in fair shape across most points of sale with Christmas fast approaching. Wings and tenders remain the most sought after items with both held with varying degrees of confidence. Cutlets are rated about steady to steady with offerings adequate for prompt ship. Wogs and whole birds are well supported and dark meat is steady and balanced. Talking turkey, offerings of whole birds are mainly adequate for very spotty last minute needs. Processors are generally open to lower bids if that will help clean up remaining inventories. Breast trim is weak and likely lower. Despite several large volume bookings over the past month, demand is still insufficient to reduce the overall burden. Whole wings are attempting to settle, but few are convinced that they've found a plateau. Drums are closer to a steady undertone, while two joints are unsettled and necks are about steady. D-strap tenders and breast meat are not attracting much of a call at all, and players don't expect much to change until early in the first quarter. Taking a look at the red meat markets, most offering prices for spot market beef are collected at steady money. Rounds and ground beef continue to firm in value, while choice ribs are under a bit of negative pressure. The main storyline within beef markets is the large winter storm currently blanketing the Great Plains area of the U.S. Several beef processing plants are currently shuttered given the magnitude of the storm. Asking prices for cattle to be sold in this week's cash market are elusive as cattle owners are waiting to access the, assess the impact of the winter storm. In the boneless beef market, trading activity has been fairly light so far this morning. Fresh 50s are rated about steady. Several participants have indicated that we should see a two-tier market develop as we approach the holiday weekend. Undertones for the leaner trimmings are steady to firmer. The imported beef market sees thin trading today. Bull 95 sees new top sides for spot trading, but is ranged slightly lower for January. Cow 95 holds a firm undertone, and spot trading in the east is at least $215 per hundredweight. Looking now at pork, interest is expected to remain lackluster today in direct sales as plants are well supplied with animals leading up to the holiday. Terminal markets are expected steady to weaker as well, with trade between $55 and $58. Yesterday and today saw slaughter implications as a storm passing through the Midwest forced at least one shift closure. Light volume is anticipated today in the green meat complex. Hams may continue to show weakness with domestic demand slowing. Bellies remain untested. Trim is seen as steady to possibly bidding in a range again with availability discrepancies dictating price action. Sellers of fresh pork are actively looking for buyers this morning following a series of light trading days. Loins, butts, and spare ribs are all rated barely steady to weak. That wraps up Erner Berry's market report, brought to you today by NAMP's new line of English Spanish meat cut posters featuring nine new designs of crisp, clear color images of pork, veal, lamb, and beef cuts now in a larger and fully laminated display. Contact Erner Barry today to order your set of NAMP's meat cut posters and ask about the new five poster beef cut series 
featuring in-depth displays of sirloin, rib, round loin, and chuck cuts. Visit us online at shop.namp.com or contact us at 800-932-0617.